Welcome back to Moonkin Stitchery. My name is Crystal and today I am working on a quick scrap buster for you today. This holiday winter season, uh, we have been spring cleaning. Well, winter cleaning. And I needed to go through a large boutique scrap pile. And I wanted to create some amazing things for you. Today I did do a quick project because sometimes it is nice to sew and whip something up within a day or two. And what I have here is a large stack that is about 10 inches long. So I am going to take these strip pieces and cut them down to 10 inch long strips as well. Now the strip pieces do vary in different width sizes. So just don't bother with that. Just leave them as is if yours are the same or they can be all equal. There really is no rule to this quilt. Once everything is cut to about 10 inch long pieces, I am going to take one of these fatter pieces of fabric and add some of the smaller skinny strips to it randomly. I'm just going to mix up the prints so I do get the scrappy look. Plus with the varied fabric widths, this will for sure be very scrappy. And I'm going to guess about how many to sew together just to make a block so that we can later square it up. Once I have selected fabrics, I am just going to sew them all together. You can press your seams open, but for this quilt, you can just press your seams to the side because you rarely ever will really have any seams matching, which is also an extra added bonus. After you have ironed your blocks, you can now take a square ruler and square your blocks up. Since I started out with 10 inch long strips, I should be able to trim them down to a 10 inch square, but we can do something a little bit more different. You can take a smaller square ruler, which I am now using an eight and a half inch square ruler and just rotate the ruler and make sure it fits within the fabric strips. Uh, mine is a little longer so I am just going to scooch it in so I can use this end piece as well and that will be the start for my next scrappy block. I will then repeat and do the same thing to the other block. Now you can just rotate your ruler more drastically or not. There really is no rule here. Just have fun. Don't think about it too much and just square a block up. Now I am just going to keep repeating these steps until I have used up all of my scraps.
I've just finished sewing all my scraps together and trimmed them down to an eight and a half inch block. I do have this one special piece that I had to really add some scraps to it to make it that last block. And since it is special, I will put it in the middle. And I ended up making 25 blocks total, which means I can do a five by five layout. I will just start laying out the blocks and then I'll sew my blocks together to form a row and lastly sew the rows together to complete the quilt top. Here I am just about ready to sew the rows together and as you can see this is really the only area you may end up with matching seams but the best part is if you are still learning and your seams are a little off it honestly won't look like it with how scrappy this quilt will turn out. So you can really whip this quilt up within a day. And here we have it. I have now sewn everything together. Of course, the more scraps you have, the bigger your quilt can be. Uh, it has been a while, but I believe these scraps were leftover fabrics from an Island Boutique fabric bundle I had. Uh, Island Batiks is has some really soft and vivid fabrics which I love so much but if you could please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified for your next project and also stay tuned because Monday I will be quilting this baby out during the podcast episode and last but not least this is an amazing scrap buster quilt but I still ended up with some trimmings would you throw these away? If you said yes, then don't, because next Friday, I will show you what you can do with these scraps as well. But until then, I will see you next time.